Hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I've got Fair Maiden Polish City Lights and Country Nights and Maniology MXM 061 and 62. I'll be starting off with Neltix Formula 2 and this is Fair Maiden City Lights and Country Nights. It was a Polish and Beauty Expo exclusive. I already got my base coat on and dry and here we go with our first coat. Now I know it looks, it looks, you know, like it's super sheer, and it is a little sheer. I'm not going to say it's not, but, oh, what a pretty polish. This one is gorgeous. Hi, Woody. How you doing? So that's one coat, and here we go with our second coat. Now it's starting to really look really ethereal. I mean, this looks like the colors in a bubble or something. Oh, my goodness. I am going to go ahead and do three coats. They're not thick coats. You might could have gotten away with two if, you know, you do thicker coats, but I don't like that, so we're going to go thin. I am going to top this one with the Pro FX Quick Dry Top Coat. i got to get this gorgeousness, gorgeousness to, you know, simmer down, dry down, and uh, so we can do some playing. Because you guys know that's what I'm all about, playing on the nails. I'm going to cap my free edge here. Oh, that, it's just so blingy the camera's even having trouble with it. There's my swatch photo. I'll be using Mini Allergy MXM 061 and 062. I'm trying to catch up using some of my stuff that came in from Mani Allergy. I kind of got backed up. Well, one got lost in the mail and they had to resend it and I didn't get it until they sent the other one. They just put them together, put a, you know, the last box in with my new box. And then they came in, and, you know, you guys know how life gets carried away with you. We'll be using Saddle Up, as well as Lasso. So, we're going to try to get through some of the stuffs. Oh, and you guys know i got to use On the Black, my base is loaded lacquer, and some of those Conad stampers. We're just going to get busy with it. I'm going to do some um, decals, or advanced stamping. Got this beautiful, like, eagle or hawk image. And let's see what's on this one. I look in, I look in. I don't know what I picked. <laughs> we'll see it together. <laughs> oh, it's like the little gecko. That's right. Okay. Cute, cute, cute plate. I love all these little, like, western desert-like images. So I'm going to use my What's Up Nails Mermaid O brush, and I'm going to fill these in. Because, you know, I've got on that stunning base polish. So I didn't want to, like, just, you know, go too crazy. And I just want to make a couple of decals for some accent nails. And like I said, I'm trying to get through all of this stuff that came in. It's like it all came in all at once, and I had collabs going on, and... They just sat there and sat there, and I decided, okay, I'm going to use them. I'm going to use both of them, both something off of both plates, and use those stamping polishes. And so, I'm using the lasso to fill in some of, some of these on both of these images. And then I'm going to use the Saddle Up also. You never know, I might get crazy and use something else too. Got them shaky hands again. They're not as bad today as they were. And now we're going to go in with that saddle up. Try to get this little, I mean, some, some of these fine details, you got to you gotta be more careful than I can be. That's okay. Like I said, they don't have to be perfect, okay? I mean, they can be. If you can get them perfect, hot dog, man, roll with it. But, you know, if you like me, you know, I can't always guarantee that my hands are going to cooperate with me. So, I might end up with decals where I'm getting out of the line a little bit. It happens. Especially on these small, tiny things. Alright, so I decided to use the um, black polish, the stamping polish from Bases Loaded again. And I'm going to do some, like, background stamping on the other nails that I'm not putting the decals on. I went in with the black and I did the like scratchy lines and now I'm going in with, no that's not, yeah, that's the lasso, that's the gold one. 
So I did the black lines and then the gold, and now I'm doing brown lines. There we go. Because I kind of wanted to play with the stamping polishes separate, so that, that went pretty well. So I'm get, getting a piece of tape here, and I'm going around and getting some of this excess polish up off my skin. There we go. Break out that cleanup brush. That makes it quick and fast. So there we go. I'm going to use some of this Super Dry as my sticky base. It's not a sticky base. It's just a clear, you know, just a clear topper or polish. It's found at the Dollar Tree for a dollar. And now I'm going to use that as my sticky base. I painted both nails. I didn't wait. Y'all saw real time. Here we go. And I'm just stamping these little images on. And it's sticking good because my little, you know, putting a little tacky layer down. And here we go. We're going to top it with the Smudge Free Top Coat from Maniology. And I know that stamping didn't just show up great over this, but that's okay. It was like kind of just, you know abstract stamping or whatever and there we go with our posh our glossy of quick dry top coat here kept that edge there we go and even over the just straight up stamp nails we're gonna put some of that glossy on there too yeah that thumbs not painted it's just too short I'm not messing with it hi Woody how you doing good job and here's my swatch photo. I hope you enjoyed this one. Let me a comment down below. I want to thank you for watching. Until next time, be good to yourself.